Hi guys, my name is Imu and I'm Reactive Case channel creator. I'm Kevin and undercover <laughs> ace in the puns. <laughs> I'm cringing. Okay, so just FYI, I know a lot of you really, really passionately tweeted me about this, but the more you tweet me, it won't make me get to it faster, nor will it make me react to it. I am subscribed to all the like K-pop or Korean music channels on YouTube, so I will get notified of a comeback unless it's like a super unknown, super, super, super unknown group or um, indie group. So don't worry, I know of all comebacks <laughs> ever. <laughs> I listen to 50 to 100 songs every single week. Um, so yeah, just like, just to preserve your energy in the future, you don't have to tweet me so religiously, but I, I do uh, respect your passion for that. <laughs> they have enough energy to be They have enough energy? Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> just, just so you know, it won't make me get to anything faster or make me do anything. Um, but yeah, so I listened to a tiny bit of this and it seems like a cool, uh, thing. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I think- I don't I think, know when their last song- uh, the Take last me higher! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. I really- that was like my so top, good. top like stuff. 10 songs, was it? Or it was like my top um, 18 songs of 2018. Mm. Um, so I, it would be really hard to beat Take Me Higher. But yeah, you're familiar with their past releases. Well, I know Colin and it's- I think it's Practice. a- It's a grower. Colin. Like, the more I listened to it, the more I liked it. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll see you where they're going with this. Three, two, one. That's silent. Oh boy. Oh my god. The sniper. Ooh. Boom, ba -doom. Oh, oh, nice change. And it's totally the the I like the par parallel fourth, parallel fifth feel. Getting it. Ooh. Da 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 da. Gosh, it's such a punky rock feel. Oh. Okay. It goes I'm between this round bass synth with the. Oh, and the guitar is. Guitar. It's in once in a while, but I'm assuming we'll get more of it in the chorus. Because they're mixing two kind of like hip hop, edge lord, and. Rock uh, edge lord. <laughs> Sean refers to it as edge lord. Really? Oof. It's, it's two negative connotations. Oh, I mean it in a positive commentation. <laughs> edge Lord is like a very negative word, I think. Oh, really? I think so. Okay, edgy, how about that? That's good. Okay. Edgy's great. I like, I like edgy stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we get this more melodic, gentle pre-chorus before. I'm guessing we go into a hard, hard rock chorus. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this is I'm just satisfied with this guitar sound. We got some hit synth stuff <laughs> on top of it. Oh, that's a beautiful melody. Mm. It's gonna do it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's oh, it's beautiful. And we're back. Oh, the drum solo. Oh my god, that was a drum fill. That was great. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you hear a drum fill like that, it's so prominent. In song. His eyebrows are sparkly like. The, the guitar kind of provides a counter melody. Mm. Again, back to the gentle vibe. I like the free piano very much. What's with the words? I like, that's so funny. The guitar, light guitar plucking. Yeah, and then we added the tom. Oh, oh. Wow. I don't know, this, the chord progression during the chorus doesn't really grab me. Really? Yeah. I think the drop is satisfying enough. Mm. It's more of a rock drop, it didn't have to be too. Yeah, it just, it sounds like... Rock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It isn't like K-pop rock, it's just, it's just rock. Exactly, which I, I'm a big fan because it sounds okay. fresh. Motors. Oh, it sounds like a motorcycle. Uh -huh. Shouts, bridge. That's a bridge. Oh, that's, wow. that's energetic. Yo, the choreo adds so much to this part of the song. Let's break out. Oh, 
Okay, I love this. I love this so much. Is the guitar gonna solo? Huh? I wanted the guitar to solo because we got like a high note in the guitar. Yeah, just a bunch of C's. But that was it. Oh, up, up. Yeah, a bunch of C's on the sit. What? All right. Was that part There's of some <laughs> weird cinematic choices. The switching between the words and stuff. Okay, so I think you're more passionate about me about yes. this than me, so I'm gonna go first. So I enjoyed the three vibes that they had. They had, you know, the gentle pre-chorus that you kind of have to have when you have a really energetic song. So you have, you know, some resting bit before we go hardcore again. And then I like how they, you know, joined the synth, um, like minor drone-esque part with a uh, rock sound. However, I really do, I think the main thing that stuck out to me was the personality and the vocals, because I felt like there's so many different characteristics we got just in the mm. melody. Um, Cause they were able, they, you know, they had the unison, hardcore, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da, you know, during the chorus, and then they switched to a really gentle da -da 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 in the second half, and then we also had a lot of things going on in the verse, but I, I don't know. I, I was really hyped up about this from all the tweets. It didn't quite meet my expectations because I feel like I was looking for more harmonic differences mm -hmm. um, when we really stayed in the same area, but that is staying true to the rock genre. Um, so for me, it, it didn't quite blow my mind, but I thought that there were definitely quite a few cool things happening here and there throughout the song. It's definitely something that uh, hype could do to your brain when you're looking into a song, for sure. Um, I, I really liked how the piece uh, or the song really settled into rock by the end, like it, it just, there was a rock drop, there was a, sh there was a rock bridge because, you know, there were a lot of drum fills and it kind of double timed a little bit, dun, 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 and, then, and then it went ba back to rock, like, well, it never really left rock, it just, it just stayed at rock, and right. um, for me, it's, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but like, this is in the same key as Shoot Me by Day6. Oh, and this is and like, I love shoot yeah, me. You this is the shoot me for like me. Shoot me. This is my um, shoot me. I feel... Just because of the range and dynamics in shoot me, that's why I prefer mm. that one mm. over... That one doesn't go rock enough for me. And I think the melody oh. is kind of da 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 da. It's kind of choppy. It's kind of like, yeah. It's kind of divided. But that's I the love whole point. This. When you're shooting, it is choppy. You're like, you're just doo, doo, doo. Well, I guess. This, this is like, and day six is shoot me, it's like, doo, doo. yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the gun signals from both of them, but like, <laughs> pull it, pull it, pull it. I, I don't, yeah, it, does, it doesn't, it doesn't get me crazy. Okay. Yeah. Agree, agree to have our own opinions. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take me higher. Bye. Bye.